Make my that era. motion to uh, move Article 31 as written. Second that motion. This is the one that increases the from 25 to 40 percent. Yes, it's on page seven. Yeah. Yeah. Draft. All right. Shall the town of Hampton vote to change the percentage distribution of franchise fees received from cable TV provider as noted under Article 16 of the 2013 annual town meeting, so that 40 percent instead of 25 percent of the funds received from the franchise fees are placed in the Hampton Cable TV local revolving fund and are allowed to accumulate from year to year and shall not be considered to be part of the town's unassigned fund balance in according with the provisions of RSA 31-95-H as previously noted. The balance of the franchise fees received by the town under the Cable TV franchise agreement are to be deposited as revenue in the general fund to reduce taxes. Fred, anything you want to say about this one? The selectman had us do a six-year pro forma on the current expenses for the cable TV, <coughs> Channel 22, and the school channel, and our, the town's contribution to help the school channel. And if the fees are not increased sometime in the latter part of 2016, we will run out of money to continue the use of Channel 22. Yeah. I, I I think it makes sense. I mean, we had the old formula when we weren't, we didn't have the schools involved. Right. <laughs> all came to us. Now we're splitting it off and giving some to the schools. So it right. makes sense to increase what we take from the general fund. Well, it is a PEG channel. PEG is public, education, and government. Right. Right. Those three have the right to participate in this fund. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, but I'm saying we only had one entity to support right. before. Right. Essentially. We have two. Hands, Jerry. Hands. Yeah. All right. Sonny, uh, he had I've got his a hand question up. about Channel 13. You know, I I get tired of seeing the lunch menu. <laughs> Fred doesn't get you hungry. Enjoy seeing a photograph. It's outside my control. Guy, I can't. Yeah. You like the way I look? Me you don't like the lunches? Or? I, I do appreciate <laughs> lunch, though. It would have seen to me that a, the high school would would do a community channel much better. The, the high school and the the, the way the cable TVs contract is yeah, with Comcast is that the high school has to share the channel with the elementary school. They have not done so because they have not connected to the net. And until they appropriate money to do that, that probably will not happen. So that makes it easier for us. Any other questions on this, Scott? Yeah, just, um, I, I was wondering what would the dollar impact was. You know, there's percentages, but a voter reading this, they don't, don't really know they don't have an appreciation for how much it is. That's because so, it does this. Yeah, and yeah but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the better part of $13,000, $14,000 is what, if you take what happened this year and apply this, you know, the 15% to that, it's it's about $13,000, $14,000. So it, it all went by percentage because it copied the previous warrant out of it. Yeah, okay. But just FYI, I mean, it doesn't, it's not a... Wait a minute, we get, a fix, uh, we get, we get checks periodically, right? Yeah. We do, yeah. What's a, a what's the sum total number. of the check? Eighty-two thousand. So we had that's one check. They they they, they vary in size. Right, it's quarterly. No, I would. Uh, the, I think it's quarterly. I think it was eighty-two thousand through November. So and I annualized that to eighty-nine thousand. Okay. And then I said fifteen percent of that is thirteen thousand dollars. So gotcha. it's not huge money, but it, it's no. It has to do with subscribership. So you get that's correct yeah. the what they get, and right. that change that's. Constantly, you know, fluctuation. Yeah. Well, that's eighty thousand. You're saying, but that's with the current percentage. Well, and and the, you have to remember that they change the rates almost every quarter. Yeah. Yeah. And when they do that, they have people who drop from tier down to another tier, which changes the mix. Right. Okay. It's fluid. Very. Tim. Thank you, Madam Chair. The original that you were referring to. Uh, was not the original. The original, I believe, was done in 99. There might have been one prior to that. But when I did my research, I went, found one in 99. Yeah, that's possible, yeah. yeah. And it said 100% of the revenue from this fee should go into the cable TV fund. 100%. <clears throat> now, I remember a certain citizen went quietly to the Board of Selectmen prior to the cameras being turned on and pointing out some years ago 
that they were only spending something like 30% of that money, and they were taking the rest of it and putting it into general revenue. And, I, and that citizen pointed out that that represents a 70% of that money is actually being used as a sales tax. I'm not done, Sonny. 70% of that is actually a sales tax. A sales tax. You get that, Max? We're talking sales tax. Who is that citizen? Could we name that no, no, he wants to remain anonymous. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling I know who it is. <laughs> so what did the Board of Selectmen say to that citizen? Oh, wait, good point. We're going to have to correct that. And so they created a warrant article to say we're only going to put 25% in there, thus making it a 75% of it being a sales tax. Now, what did we have for a discussion at the most recent Board of Selectmen on this matter? No. Uh, we have the selectman saying, I think it was selectman Vital saying, well, this doesn't seem all that right, but since I'm not a subscriber, I'm not going to complain or something to that effect. Oh, but, uh, but the most significant comment actually came from selectman Waddle, who said, this is wrong. He's, he was right, too. This is wrong, but he's going to support it because right now it's 75% wrong, and after this passes, it's, it's going to be only 60% right. wrong. So that's progress. But hold it. Well, I am saying this. There is no reason why we can't just make this 100% right and go back to the way it was, certainly in 99, 100% of the money going into the fund and none of it being used as a sales tax. What is a sales tax is you tax someone for a retail sale and you take the money and you put it in the general fund. Oh, That's exactly what this does. This is nothing more than a sales tax. I object to it most vehemently. And unfortunately, I'm going to find myself in the same position as Slack and Waddle and saying, God, I'm going to have to vote for something that's less wrong when we should be voting for something that's right. I agree with you. Don't calm Tim. down. You're going to have a hard time. I'm time. sorry, but I oppose sales tax. <laughs> I moved to New Hampshire from part to stay away right. from those damn sales tax. Let's, let's, let's move to the other side of the floor. Sonny, I'm not doing CPA. And then Jerry. Oh, no. All right. Come on, guys. It's Yes, don't object to our income taxes. This, <laughs> get back this to money be used. Not on the warrant. <laughs> could this money be used to take the town Wi-Fi? <laughs> it can be used for uh, uh, cable TV channels. That's it. Okay, Jerry. The only point that I wanted to make is uh, I, I, I agree with Tim. What Tim says, however, Mr. Bean, Selectman Bean, did mention that they would address this in the next semester, as he called it. Is the next semester, uh, Phil, what would you term it? Next semester? Yeah, you said, <laughs> which means in, 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 in 2016, they, they would pick the subject up and more or less try to get in effect. The well, then if you're going to pick it up and you're going to put a warrant article now, why not address it Monday yeah. night? Yeah. Right. It could be know, easily do we want, do you want to, I mean, it, it makes, you know, although you went a little long on it, Tim, it does make sense if that was the original intention. We're not talking about a whole lot of money here, guys. All right? It's not going to make or break the world, but in the world of cable, it might make a huge difference to the schools and to the systems right. that we use. If you're going to take it up in 2016, how about we table this until next Wednesday night and give you the opportunity to go back perhaps and ask the board to revisit it for the 100%. It's your, it's your board, Madam Chair, and we'll, we'll take back whatever message and table it or whatever you want to do. Okay, what's well, the... I think it's, it's, matter, only, I think it's only, a matter of principle. Okay. <laughs> you know, if we had more people on the board of selection... Tim, just a minute. Be <laughs> okay. No. It's not a matter of just tabling it. My Tabling it right now and putting it off until next Wednesday has no resolve if you're not going to bring it up for a vote Monday night to change that. If that's not going to be done, and well, if you, uh, just but here's for a minute, yeah. all right? Sure. Seriously, this is a Warren article. It needs a vote one way or the other, and all I'm suggesting is you've brought up some valid points, and if our selectman representative wants to go back to the Board of Selectmen Monday night and share our concerns with this, that it perhaps be moved to 100% instead of, you know, moving to 40% and then taking it back up in 2016, only to have another Warren article next year. But I guess I'm asking for a commitment to, of you to do that. Otherwise, we might as well, just as well, take a vote tonight. Uh, Jerry. Madam Chair, the, I, I think what I heard was, and, and, I, and I agree with it uh, when, they, when they met, was the right thing to do is take only what you need. You don't need 100% of this fee that's going in okay. to run the 13 and the 22. 
you need only a percentage of that revenue. So you'd have to sidebar the current Comcast contract or something so that they stop taking the 4% off or whatever it is. They don't need all of that money. They only need about half of it. So then just charge the customers half. Okay, and then the customers would only get charged half. Fine. Okay. So there would be a they would see a reduction in their Comcast bill. So what's the pleasure of this committee to vote on this tonight? Madam Chair, I think we can be confident that we've got at least one member of the Board of Selectmen. We had more that were running in a present campaign for a state office that they would, in fact, on the principle of the matter, not, of course, subjecting themselves to being attacked in a campaign, they would vote to get right. rid of the sales tax. Scott. I understood it took like six years to get this thing with, through Comcast, and, uh, but it was, it was a long process. It, 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 Very the long process. The negotiation began in 2005, and it was finished in 2012. I don't think messing with the fees is the answer. Okay. So when should you start negotiating this round here, uh, Fred? All right. I don't see any hands up. I'm going to put this to a vote. We'll vote on it tonight. Based on our vote, they can do whatever they want to do with it next Monday night. All right. Not yet. All those in favor of this warrant article number 31 as written to go to 40 percent? I'm going to have to go with it. You're going to have to okay. Go with it. Opposed? Sandy? Abstentions? All that, oh, noise yeah. and you, all that noise and you simply you abstain it? I cannot soil myself <laughs> voting for something that I know to be 60% wrong. <laughs> How can I oppose it to make it better than 75% wrong as it is now? Okay. okay. All right. I've run